What specific problems does the MMMU Pro benchmark aim to solve compared to the original MMMU benchmark? The MMMU Pro benchmark aims to address two primary issues identified in the original MMMU benchmark, text-only dependency and shortcut exploitation. Firstly, it filters out questions that can be answered solely by text-based models, ensuring that all questions require genuine multimodal understanding. Secondly, it augments the candidate options from 4 to 10, reducing the likelihood of models guessing answers based on subtle hints within the options. Additionally, MMMU Pro introduces a vision-only input setting, which challenges models to integrate visual and textual information without explicit text input, thereby testing their ability to process complex scenes as humans do. These enhancements collectively aim to provide a more rigorous evaluation of multimodal reasoning capabilities, revealing the limitations of current models in handling true multimodal tasks. Can you break down the proposed methodology of MMMU Pro step-by-step, step, including each phase of the three-step construction process? The proposed methodology of MMMU Pro consists of a rigorous three-step construction process aimed at enhancing the evaluation of multimodal models. 1. Filtering questions. This initial phase involves identifying and excluding questions that can be answered by text-only language models. Four strong open-source models were tasked with answering the MMMU questions without visual input, and any question answered correctly by at least three out of four models was filtered out. This process resulted in a refined pool of questions. 2. Augmenting candidate options. In the second phase, the number of candidate options for each question was increased from 4 to 10. This augmentation was performed by human experts, who ensured that the new options were relevant to the images, and eliminated any questions lacking coherence. This step aimed to reduce the likelihood of models guessing the correct answer based on subtle hints. 3. Enhancing evaluation with a vision-only input setting. The final phase introduced a vision-only input setting where models received questions embedded within screenshots or photos without any explicit text. This setting was designed to mimic real-world usage patterns and challenge models to integrate visual and textual information seamlessly, reflecting how humans process complex scenes. Together, these steps resulted in a more robust benchmark that effectively assesses the true multimodal understanding and reasoning capabilities of AI models. Can you provide a simple, concrete example illustrating how a model would interact with the vision-only input setting in MMMU Pro? In the vision-only input setting of MMMU Pro, a model is presented with a question embedded within a screenshot or photo without any explicit text input. For example, a model might encounter an image of a scientific diagram that includes both visual elements and a question about the relationships depicted in that diagram. The model must analyze the visual context, recognize any text within the image, and understand how the text relates to the visual components to answer the question correctly. This setting challenges the model to integrate visual and textual information seamlessly, mirroring how humans typically process such information in real-world scenarios. The complexity arises because the model must not only extract text, but also comprehend its relevance and context within the image, which significantly increases the difficulty compared to traditional text-only inputs. What are the key theoretical or practical benefits of utilizing the MMMU Pro benchmark compared to prior benchmarks, particularly in assessing multimodal AI capabilities. The MMMU Pro benchmark offers several key theoretical and practical benefits over prior benchmarks, particularly in evaluating multimodal AI capabilities. Firstly, it rigorously filters out questions that can be answered by text-only models, ensuring that the tasks genuinely require multimodal understanding, which addresses the issue of shortcut exploitation seen in previous benchmarks. Secondly, by augmenting candidate options from 4 to 10, MMMU Pro significantly complicates the guessing process, compelling models to engage more deeply with the multimodal content. Additionally, the introduction of a vision-only input setting challenges models to integrate visual and textual information seamlessly, mirroring real-world usage patterns and enhancing the assessment of their cognitive abilities. Finally, 
Experimental results indicate that MMMU Pro reveals substantial performance drops across models, highlighting their limitations in true multimodal reasoning, thus providing a more accurate evaluation of current AI capabilities. How was the MMMU Pro benchmark validated or tested? Describe the datasets used, metrics for performance evaluation, and the experimental design. The MMMU Pro benchmark was validated through a comprehensive evaluation of various state-of-the-art multimodal models across three distinct settings, a standard setting without augmented options, a standard setting with augmented options, and a vision-only input setting. The dataset consisted of 3,460 questions, split evenly between standard format and vision, only format, derived from the original MMMU benchmark, after a rigorous three-step construction process that included filtering out text-only answerable questions, augmenting candidate options from 4 to 10, and introducing a vision-only input setting. Performance metrics were based on accuracy scores, with significant drops observed across all models when compared to the original MMMU benchmark, indicating the increased difficulty of MMMU Pro. The experimental design involved evaluating models like GPT-40 and LLAVA across these settings, with results showing that the introduction of more options and the vision-only format effectively reduced the likelihood of models relying on guessing or shortcuts. Overall, the validation process highlighted the limitations of current models in true multimodal understanding and reasoning, as evidenced by the substantial performance declines observed. What specific results were observed when applying MMMU Pro to various multimodal models, and how do these results demonstrate the benchmark's effectiveness? When applying MMMU Pro to various multimodal models, significant performance drops were observed across all tested models compared to the original MMMU benchmark with decreases ranging from 16.8% to 26.9%. For instance, GPT-40-0513 experienced a decrease of 10.7% when the number of candidate options increased from 4 to 10 and an additional drop of 4. 3% in the vision-only input setting. These results indicate that the introduction of more challenging question formats and the vision-only input setting effectively mitigated the shortcuts and guessing strategies that models could exploit in the original benchmark. Furthermore, the qualitative analysis revealed that models struggled with the increased complexity of integrating visual and textual information, leading to errors and hallucinations in reasoning. Overall, these findings underscore MMMU Pro's effectiveness in rigorously assessing true multimodal understanding and reasoning capabilities, highlighting the limitations of current state-of-the-art models. What limitations or challenges does the MMMU Pro benchmark present for current models, and how might these affect its implementation in real-world applications? The MMMU Pro benchmark presents significant limitations and challenges for current multimodal models, primarily by exposing their inability to effectively integrate and process complex visual and textual information simultaneously. The introduction of a vision-only input setting significantly increases the complexity of tasks, as models must not only recognize text within images, but also understand its context and relevance, leading to notable performance drops of 16. 8% to 26, 9% compared to the original MMMU benchmark. Additionally, the increase in candidate options from 4 to 10 complicates the guessing strategy, further challenging models to engage deeply with the content rather than relying on shortcuts. These challenges highlight the model's limitations in nuanced reasoning and their struggles with instruction-following capabilities, which are crucial for effective performance in real-world applications where users often present integrated visual-textual content. Consequently, the MMMU Pro benchmark underscores the need for more sophisticated multimodal reasoning abilities, as current models may fail to deliver reliable results in practical scenarios that require seamless integration of diverse information types. What future directions for research or improvements have been suggested in the context of the MMMU Pro benchmark and multimodal understanding?
the MMMU Pro benchmark highlights several future research directions and improvements for enhancing multimodal understanding. Firstly, there is a clear need for models to develop more sophisticated multimodal reasoning abilities, particularly in integrating and contextualizing text within images, as current models struggle with the complexity of visual text integration. Additionally, the qualitative analysis indicates that models need to improve their precision in multi-option scenarios, as they often select answers based on proximity rather than definitive reasoning. Furthermore, enhancing instruction following capabilities is crucial for effective implementation of chain of thought, caught prompting, which has shown variable success across different models. Lastly, addressing the cognitive load and processing biases that arise from rapid transitions between text and images will be essential for improving model performance in real-world applications.